Hey guys, this is SP and welcome back today to another video inside of my awesome world and as always we're going to go and head down to Fred's office and see what today's challenge is going to be for my reward fish breakfast and I brought something with me today, I've, uh, it's not much but I'm bringing a little thing down to the office just to uh, to make a slight adjustment to his challenge shack, a little addition and there's my reward fish, looking forward to it but first things first let's go and press this button, it's, it's not as exciting as I've just made it sound by the way what I'm bringing down there okay but you, you'll have to wait and see for, uh, for what it is, let's get scanned. Are we going to be allowed through? It is indeed going to allow me through. Perfect. And I have fixed the eye scanner. So in theory, it should now work. In theory. There you go. You see? You all thought that I didn't know how to fix it? Well, I do. Okay. And uh, good morning, Sean. How are you doing, buddy? Are you ignoring me as usual? Yes, I'm over here. Yeah, he's looking at me. He turns away as I walk around every time. I don't know. Anyway, to Fred's office we uh, we go. And uh, so I don't get told off in the comments. Good morning, Miles the Mule. You're getting closer and closer to this gate every time I see you. Yeah, <laughs> you keep eating that grass. And uh, good morning to you, Fred, as well. Now then, what have I brought, Fred? What is so exciting? Well, I've uh, all I've brought is... Uh, like a piece of birch wood so I can make some planks and so I can make some pressure plates and I'm going to put pressure plates right here. That's that's all. Sorry, Fred. If you were getting excited, I just wanted to put some birch pressure plates down because I think they fit they, they fit the bill. Well, they fit the bill. Okay, so today's challenge is to bone meal some of the underwater area around your house. Okay, I can do that, Fred. And uh, we'll have to see what... Did you give me the bone meal, by the way? That's a good question. No, I've got to go and get my own bone meal. I'll tell you what, you don't make these challenges easy, do you? You're not going to give me anything anything for free around it. Look at this door as well. The hinges are on that side, okay? But it opens that way. It's so it's so glitchy, the doors in this uh, in this version at the moment, until they fix that. Yeah, the, the doors are just a little bit on the glitchy side, it has to be said. Uh, what about these... Uh, see, I think these doors over here do the same thing, actually. Skele Did you just see that? i just seen that arrow whiz past me. Skeleton was aiming for me there. I didn't do a very good job. I'm not all the way up there though. Um, yeah, you can see. Look at this. Look how that opens. The handle's on the wrong side and everything. Um, so until that's fixed, it, yeah, <laughs> basically, <laughs> it's, it's going to be like that. But if you look at this door over here, like these doors, absolutely fine. Look at that. They're perfect. That, that's how doors are meant to be. Okay, just putting it out there. And there they go. They're closed nicely. So I need to go and get some bones anyway. I have bones down in my chest room, so we'll go and check that out. I just, I don't want to get rid of these blocks. I think they're so cool to look at. <laughs> just random blocks that shouldn't be in the game. Okay, right. Anyway, to uh, to the chest room. I have loads of but I don't know why there's a hole there. That needs patching up. Maybe I can find a stone brick. If I can find the stone brick's chest, I'll put one in there. I think I think I have one. Yeah, I have one right here. There we go. Let's go and grab a, uh, just one stone brick. We'll place that down here. There we go. And then also, I need to find some bones. How many bones? Will... I'm just going to grab like an entire stack. You know what? We can we can go crazy. Bone meal underground. Now, can I just do some bone meal as well? Let's do it, okay? Uh, so we're going to go and... <laughs> I don't know how much we need. I've got 57. That might might be enough, okay? I hope it's enough. All right, we're going to go and put this right here. There we go. Perfect. And we're going to go head upstairs. So yeah, if you bone meal underwater, it does get you thing. It gets you all the... Uh... The, the new stuff that you get underwater. So say, you know, you have a world like me, you know, and you've transferred it across and now you've got the aquatic update, but you've got all these things. Like, I, I want some, some seagrass and stuff. Well, fear not, because you can't have any, apparently. I'm trying, I'm bone mailing it, it's not working. I think it has to be a little bit deeper. I think one deep water doesn't work from my experience. So you're the culprit, by the way. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, well, you're going down. Okay. <laughs> Almost didn't die. Um, right, as I was saying, yeah, it has to be more than one block deep, I think. So if we do it down here, look at this. Look at how cool this looks. And you get little uh, little flowers. I don't know what this is. Can I still touch it, maybe? No, I... Th oh, yes, I can. What is it? It's fire coral. How cool is that? I thought that only came in coral reefs, but apparently it generates here as well. I think this is coral as well. Is that right? Um, let's have a little look. This is a tube coral. Look at that. How cool is that? So that kind of works well in line with actually what we're going to be exploring today, but... You have to wait and see all about that. Anyway, we're gonna go and uh, and go over here. Look at me swimming along. I want to want to kind of look at myself. I feel like I'm on those like uh, stingrays. Look at me. I'm under. Look at that. Some say some say I'm a secret. Just just that's like a shark. My goodness. Look at me. <laughs> all you see is my legs underground. Oh my goodness. That's a weird situation. Okay, I was kind of going for that. Look at that. I'm just swimming along. I think I think the swimming animation is so cool. But there's a few glitches with it here and there. Admittedly, you know, a few. A few issues. We can we can understand that. All right, just putting that out there. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna go and bone meal over here. All right, enough enough joking aside. Swimming like a, a strange person. Let's just go and uh, and bone meal a load of this. Okay, so we can get nice things. And look at this. Look at I always love. You look at the size of that salmon. It's got like some babies with it. I think it's pretty dark under here to see. But look at it. It's got like a baby with it. But look at the size of the mother. Absolutely ginormous fish. I would love to get have a, have a bite of that. But I'm gonna refrain. Okay, I'm gonna refrain. So I'm gonna go and. Um, yeah, go and uh, bone meal out of this. Is that all the bone? Did I use all the bone meal that fast? That's that's worrying times, you know. 
Why, why is there a jack-o'-lantern here as well? Oh, that's I have torches. Okay. Okay. I'm now drowning. Okay. Don't panic though. I won't die. Hopefully not. <laughs> so look how cool this is. So I guess in time I can just work on like bone meal in the whole underground here. Oh, I know why I'm drowning because I'm not, I'm not letting myself charge back up. Look, like, you watch it now. It goes back up all the way to the top and then you can go back down. There we go. Okay. I think it's, I think it makes sense that you have to kind of breathe again, you know, and get your air back. You can't just get it instantly back like you used to, but it was definitely easier when you could do it before like, uh, like you used to. But anyway, we're going to go around here. We're into the swamp biome now, but there needs to be grass down here as well, doesn't there? Okay, seagrass. It, it brings the ocean light. It's like the only, like, um, I don't know, animated block. How many... Right, every time I place it... Let's have a look. How many does it do? So I place it... It uses loads. Okay. Like, I press it once, and it uses, like, more than one. Okay, that's that's kind of interesting to know. That's why I'm going through bone meal so fast. I know that must be a little update as well. I'm learning things here. Uh, any sign of Cosmo? No, doesn't look like he is. I don't know where he's gone this time. <laughs> gone fishing again, probably knowing him. Anyway, we're going to go and... Uh, we've done that challenge, anyway. That's the main thing, okay? We've got loads of seagrass over there. It looks kind of cool. I kind of want to go and have a look back at it in a moment. I'm just getting my fish first. And while I'm going to admire my hard work whilst I eat the fish, okay? There is a bit of a swamp biome over there, which looks a little... Makes it look a little bit uh, awkward, but... Okay, I don't know if it works, that random patch down there first, but, you know, we'll work with it. And then over there, I think I just need a little bit more and it'll be perfect, won't it? But look at... Uh, Let's look, where, where's the clear water, the nice, uh, the nice water? I guess over here, we've got <laughs> rotten flesh coming out. Look at that, I think it's, it's starting to come to life. It, we need more of it, but it's getting there, okay? It's definitely getting there. It just uses a lot of bone meal very, very fast. Um, so yeah, today we're going to go and find a coral reef. Um, we're going to get some coral reef blocks. Uh, but coral's one of those things, those, it's a block that's like a living block, okay? And if it doesn't have water next to it, it will die, which I think is, it's really cool that, like, that you need to keep water by it. I guess I think that's a, uh, a cool little uh, feature. So I'm going to need... What am I going to need here? I'm going to need uh, some this. I'm going to need my electric. There's my Heart of the Sea, which we found last episode. Very proud of that. Uh, we're going to go and also grab... I need like a bucket of water. Uh, uh, we'll grab a couple of buckets. Um, and also, I guess the important thing would be to go and... Uh, oh, where's my helmet? My helmet's in my bedroom. I need to go to my bedroom and get my helmet, okay? Because that's got uh, Aqua Infinity and, and Respiration. So I need that. Now then, to harvest up the blocks... Okay, I have some water breathing potions here. Let's just grab these. Yeah, to harvest the... Uh, the blocks of, uh, I do believe, uh, yeah, the coral blocks, you need to use silk touch as well, okay? A regular pickaxe isn't going to cut it. In fact, you saw me pick up that, that coral before. Um, that, that They're not coral blocks, that's just actual coral. I needed silk touch with that as well. I don't think shears work. I could be wrong, but I don't think shears work, okay? Don't quote me on that one, but I think that's correct. Anyway, let's grab my uh, my helmet. I think I just put it in this chest, didn't I? Yeah, there we go. Okay, it's in here. Let's go and uh, place it on. There we go. All right, we're going to change that inventory as well. And uh, we're going to go and fly off, okay? It's time to get dark, but you know what? We're not going to worry about the dark. Oh, do we go to bed? now? you know, we're just going to go. <laughs> okay, so my uh, my fireworks have been known to be temperamental, as you can see. That's, yeah, as you can see, they just don't always work when I'm flying the Elytra. I don't know why. It's it's super weird. But uh, eventually it does work. There we go. See? <laughs> Second time, worked a treat, all right? So as the sun sets, we get to fly all the way over to... Um, yeah, to so this place, and we're going to see uh, exactly what is... Uh, well, we're going to have a good look around the coral. I found a coral reef over this way. There's a few coral reefs. Coral reefs aren't that hard to find. You just need to look in a warm ocean biome. So how do you know if it's a warm ocean biome? Um, if there's, like, a lot of sand on the on the seafloor, you know you're in a warm ocean biome, and just keep swimming around. You'll probably run into one, okay? They're usually near deserts and acacia biomes. You know, that kind of a place, I suppose, is the uh, the best way to... Uh, to describe it. So I think if we keep going this way, so you can see where the biomes change. There's the, well, the, the world border is. There we go. We're moving into the old bedrock world now. So now we're in all aquatic features are here. It's actually good that it's dark, actually. It's going to make it easier for me, believe it or not, that it's now dark as we're traveling because um, the coral reefs actually have light in them. They have, I think they're called sea pickles. Yes, yeah, sea pickles. And what they do is they have, um, they, they like, light up the underwater, basically. Yeah, the, the sea pickles light up underwater. As you can see right here, we have found the coral reef. You can see all the light around and stuff. So let's just go and land in here. And uh, this is it. All right, let's, uh, let's drink some water breathing just so we can breathe. <laughs> Makes sense. And here we are in the uh, the underwater place. Now then, we have fish here. Can I can I, can I I get this fish? What happens if I punch it? Okay, it doesn't get, actually get hard. Probably should do it with a sword, right? Let's have a look. And then they kind of swim away. That's kind of cool. But can you eat them? That's what I want to know. Can I eat these? It's a new fish to be eaten here. Imagine making a, like a fish banquet. There we go. And it should float. Okay, that got me a... That's a tropical fish. How does it taste? Very tasty indeed, okay? So I guess all tropical fish kind of look the same. 
Look at me going out and slaying the fish. Oh, a shipwreck here as well. There's literally a shipwreck in the quarry. Let me get these fish first. Okay, I like the way they flow, actually. It makes it easier. And do you get... You get bones as well from taking out fish. I don't know if I actually got a fish from that one, but I just got bones. Fish bones. Okay, that's cool. And what you can do as well is you can actually pick any fish up in the... the, the and there's about 3,000 different fish, okay? See, so this is a different fish again. You can pick it up, and it's a book... That's a Moorish island. You can place it back down, like, like that. <laughs> I don't know where he went, but I'm pretty sure I let him out anyway. <laughs> All right, so let's check out this um, this shipwreck here, okay? So this is cool. I didn't expect this was a part of the plan, but there you go. Treasure map, that's all I really want out of here. There's more books and stuff lying about. Any uh, actual useful treasure, you never know. I think the amount of treasure maps are fine. Like, it's making things like diamonds and stuff really easy to get. Uh, well, much easier anyway. I'm not going to take any poisonous potatoes. Yeah, tell you what, that's, what, well, that's what happens when you leave food too long. So we've got all the coral here, as you can see. Um... I like the way, I think they made it work so well that like, there's no such thing as air pockets anymore, like with all this stuff, I think it, it makes it look a lot better. So, this coral reef looks uh, really cool. Now then, this right here, this is dead coral, and then this is live coral. So, if we go mine up, we can mine up some of this, it shouldn't take me too long to mine. Okay, of course I'm underwater, so it's going to take a little bit longer, but I have got Aqua Infinity, so it helps. So, we can mine this up, we can mine these as well. Alright, I'm going to mine up a load of, of this red coral. I don't know why some of it takes longer than others, to be honest. <laughs> Some of it's like super fast. I think I think it's if I'm swimming it takes longer. Let's have a look. So I'm stood on I'm 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 floating up. Okay, this is when me in the midair. Okay. That's interesting. That takes that long. And then if I go and get on the ground, it takes way quicker. Okay. When you get standing on your own two feet, it definitely makes sense. I suppose if you're swimming, it is harder to mine though. It makes sense. Let's get some different colours as well. I think it'd be cool to build something with these coral. I don't know exactly what at the moment, but I definitely see some potential with building with these anyway, okay? Just because they look so nice. Look at them. Look at these. Okay, so we're going to go and grab uh, these blocks. It's handy that they all float. Look, I missed some blocks over here. Oh, well, we'll just go and pick them up now and I can see them all. That's, uh, that's handy, isn't it? So we'll go and grab all of these. Is that a... F I think there's something over there. I need to go and grab a... Like a I think the fish that I, I got before, I never got to... Yeah, yeah, you know, I got the bones. I, I missed the fish completely. <laughs> all right, is that another tropical fish? So I guess... They're just, the tropical fish all look the same when you catch them. You can't, like, get, like, thousands of different ones. But then again, they can't make that many of everything, can they? But it's cool that they've made, like, so many different uh, variants. What is that over there? Oh, it's a, it was a zombie village. It's a zombie village. Okay, I kind of want to stay clear of that. Um, let's go and check out a little bit more, then. I'd, I've got all these coral. I want to place it, but at the same time, I don't want to be out there in the middle of the night. It's a little bit risky. There is uh, these little sea pickles as well. I haven't actually seen. Can you pick these up um, without doing anything else? Like, can you just go and mine them with your fist? Let's have a look. Um, yeah, so you can pick up sea pickles, and I guess you can replant them. Let's have a look. So we got three from that. Can you, like, so you place them again. Can you place more than one in a thing? You can. I wonder how many you can place in one individual thing as well. That's going to be interesting just to test out. Four? Four in a thing. And the more there is, the more light it provides as well. That's cool. Because look, I place another one, and it gets lighter and lighter. That's, uh, that's cool, and that makes a lot of sense. Now then, can you place these above ground? That's the next question, isn't it? Let's, uh... Let's go and see if we can do that, alright? And we're going to, I'll show you some stuff with the coral. I don't know where the best place is to go here, to be honest. Um, because it's just mobs everywhere. <laughs> a little bit awkward. Okay, you know, we're going to go to this little, uh, little island here. There is a skeleton over there, but if I can light this up, nothing else should spawn in this, uh, this little vicinity. Look at the amount of skeletons. It's a, for a tiny island, there's a lot of mobs spawning around here, isn't there? Okay, skeleton. Two of you! I'll tell you what, you've come in your strength in numbers today, haven't you? Alright, let's carry on over here. Let's light it up. And then when we take everything out, we should be, uh... We should be perfect, okay? Right, time to take out these spiders, then we can do some messing about. It's always dark when I want to do stuff like this, isn't it? Okay, let's, uh, let's go and hit this. I think in the... I want to... Okay, this guy's just not getting it. I think when they update, uh, so they add drowned and stuff, I think mobs don't swim. I could be wrong. I don't know if that was just a temporary thing, but I know the drowned... I don't know if z zombies swim or not, because obviously the drowned are in the... Uh, the current official release of uh, the Bedrock. They're only in the beta, which I'm not playing on. I'm playing on the official one. Man, this skeleton's just gonna get, keep hitting me, isn't it? The pair of you, look at you. Look at that bullying right here. Uh, guys, come on. We can all be friends here. All right, I've just come to take you out. There we go, that's you gone. Yeah, so I think th the way drown work is when a zombie drowns, it becomes a drowned. So yeah, I think I think mobs don't swim. At least zombies don't. I, I don't know if all the other ones do, but it, it would change a lot if, if mobs don't swim, wouldn't it? Because it would suddenly make like, all your, like, your mob farms and stuff are suddenly, like, not going to work, which is it's quite interesting when you think about it. Anyway, we should be able to uh, to do something now. If you dare come over here and get in my way, there'll be trouble. All right, so let's go and um, first see the sea pickles. Okay, it can be planted there, but it looks like it doesn't actually produce any light. Let's, let's have a look. Okay, he's, he's shot me now. Yeah, okay. So, notice how 
This one has a little thing coming out the top of it. Whereas this one doesn't. If you look, if I place it here, there's nothing coming out the top of it, okay? It's like the sea pickle doesn't grow unless it's underwater. Look at that. And then that produces light under underwater. So it only produces light underwater, but can be placed anywhere. It would make a cool little cup or something, wouldn't it? You know, if you had something different from all the other stuff you can get. A, a little thing like that. Where are all you guys coming from? Man, the, the skeletons today, they're everywhere. I could have sworn I, uh, I torched this up. Maybe I didn't put enough torches down. Maybe they're still finding ways to spawn. I mean, I'm just trying to, you know, show off this, these different things and I'm getting things everywhere. These sea pickles everywhere. I think you can get sea pickles in non-coral reefs as well, if I'm not mistaken. I could be wrong. Okay, that's, that, there's no more now. If any more spawn, I'm not going to be happy. All right, moving on to the coral reef blocks, okay? So, uh, if we go and grab these, if you go ahead and just place a regular, this is a fire coral. It looks cool as well. You place it, you give it a few seconds. This is sad. It dies. Look at that. It's dead. You can't bring it back to life. Even if you mine it, you know, you've now got, look, Look what I've got now, a dead fire coral block. You can't bring it back to life. You can put it underwater. It's dead for life, all right? Once it's, once it's dead, it's dead, all right? Sad to say, but it is. So the only way around this is you have to, uh, you have to place water down, okay? So if you place some water down and you place it and it's next to water, it'll be okay, all right? However, it doesn't actually have to be, okay. Wow, you died quickly. I thought I'd get a little bit longer than that, but apparently it died instantly. All right, but say you go like this, um, it can also be placed there and it'll be fine. It'll live. It'll be okay. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe they changed it. Maybe it has to be... Wait, does it die regardless? Yeah, they're all dying on me. Does that work? No, maybe. Maybe they changed it, to be honest. It's possible that they changed it. So it has to be completely submerged, perhaps? I see <laughs> before this episode started I did my research but apparently anything's subject to change um yeah basically when I did my research <laughs> the video I watched that told me and I guess at the time it worked you could place coral next to water any piece of water as long as it was touching water it'd be fine so as long as I place it here it should be all right okay yeah don't die wow it's died so what if it's completely submerged is that the only way now so it has to be completely surrounded. I guess if it's touching air, maybe that's the problem. Uh, what if, see if I go like, no, nah, I need to get this right. Okay, so, say I build, a, I'm making this a weird coral reef. Right? Someone's gonna come in and be like, what is, what's going on here? All right, say we go like this. All right, we mine away at, at this block here. Okay, um, it's fully submerged. Yeah, I think that's, as long as it's not touching air, maybe. So now then, here's an interest. Here's a bit of food for thought. Okay, what if I build a, a bit of a, a tower here? Okay, this is going to be an interesting one. What if? Yeah, what if I build a tower? All right. Now these are all going to die. But then if I go like this, I didn't mean to place it in the block. Actually, game. <laughs> I messed up. Although one of them did survive by the looks of things. There. Let's try this again. Okay, we're going to build a tower. All right, and then we're gonna place this. Okay, it's coming out the side. This top one's gonna die, but I think one of them's gonna live. Okay, if we mine away at this top one here, one will live. And in fact, uh, if I go like this now, okay, say I mine some of them out. All right, so we'll mine like I don't know four of them out, and then we go and place them in. As long as there's not touching air, it seems it's okay. But if it touches air, it dies. So air kills coral. Well, there you go. That's good to know. And then what we can do is we can grab the sea pickle. And we can... I'm learning stuff today as well. I'm learning a lot every episode. You see what happened there? It like went up and went back down really fast. Wow, flowing water seems to uh, to affect the sea pickles as well. You can't handle it. Okay, you're not meant to do that. Uh, yeah, yeah, flowing water messes up as well. Okay, so it has to be in still water. Okay, that's cool. All right, so... There you have it, my uh, my coral towers. Okay, a bit of experimentation. Don't let your coral die. Now, I don't know if there's much else to uh, to explore down here. Um, so we've got the blue coral, we've got sorts. So I kind of want to be able to use this, but at the same time, it's going to be tricky to build with this, knowing that, you know, if it touches air and stuff. So of course I can build like things like aquariums and I'll take a lot of this home to use on my aquarium, but look at the, just look at the sizes. Now, I think we went to this shipwreck, didn't we? And we got... We got a treasure map, if I'm not mistaken. We can go and get another potion of water raven as well. Let's keep it safe. Um, if we want, we can bring home a fish. I think we've got to bring home a, a souvenir. Okay, are you? It's swimming away. 
There we go, we got him. We caught a fish. We caught the, uh, the Moorish idol. I'm gonna learn a lot of fish names in this aquatic update, aren't I? Yes, we've explored this, uh, this little thing. Uh, cool little shipwreck, though. We've got, see, you get these little things, you get little caves. All caves in the aquatic update, by the way, are under what, in the ocean biomes, are flooded. And how cool is this? To explore a cave underwater, like, we'll do this properly later, but just a little sneak peek. Um, another, there's another episode here where we'll, we'll go cave exploring and stuff, and we'll, like, un explore underwater caves. I think it, it's awesome, like, it's so different, isn't it, you know, suddenly caves aren't as, caves, caves, going caving is a, is a new experience, you know, like, just going for your mining, your daily iron and coal, you know, it's, uh, it's a cool experience. So, I'm super looking forward to more things in this aquatic update, there's so much new stuff, like, just here and there, like, even, you know, it's like a massive change log, but then there's loads of, I'm lost, guys, <laughs> it's like a massive change log, but then there's new, um, New, you know, new stuff that they don't mention, like all the caves being flooded and stuff like that, which I think is awesome. Uh, of course, there's shipwrecks everywhere. There's dolphins that I still need to, like, explore a little bit more. That's uh, that's always cool. Um, so, yeah, really, uh, really, still, still enjoying this update. It's so much to say. So, hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. Make sure to leave a like if you enjoyed it. And also subscribe if you're new to the channel for daily videos of Minecraft. So, yeah, as I said, thank you very much for watching. And hopefully I'll see you guys next time.